What's going on? It's Kev Obato. And what if I told you that what you're seeing right now is a brand new desktop mode for Botticera? Not like the one in my previous video. This is native, no containers, no BS. You see I'm back on the Botticera home screen. There's proof, you see Botticera there. Now I can click F1 to go back into my file manager. It will bring up the file manager, but we can minimize this screen and we are on the brand new Botticera desktop mode. You know me, let's not waste any time and let me show you how you can add this native desktop mode to Botticera. All right, so in order to add this new desktop, you're going to need the BUA. So if you've already got the BUA, then you can skip this part. The timestamps will be in the description below. If you don't have the BUA, go ahead and press F1 to go into your file manager. And then you're gonna go into applications. And then you're gonna open up Xterm. Now in here, you're going to type the command that you see on the screen and you're gonna press enter. It's that simple, but I'll leave the command on the screen for you for a second so that you can type it in. All right, so once you type in this command, you can go ahead and press enter. <laughs> You'll have to watch to the end of the video to know while I'm laughing. But anyways, it's going to go ahead and install the BUA. While it's installing the BUA, you can sit here and stare at it. Once it's done, you can go ahead and type the word exit, E-X-I-T, and then click enter. And that closes out the terminal for you. Bada boom, bada bing. Now you got this new fancy Botticera unofficial add-ons icon. So you're going to go ahead and open that up. And for anybody who skipped to the timestamp, you can just go into your ports and open up the BUA, or you can open up from here, it really doesn't matter. But we're gonna go into the BUA. All right, now that we're in the BUA, we're gonna go down to System Utilities. And then we're gonna go down to Desktop. Now there's two options for Desktop. One of them I've already have a video on, so you can go watch that. I'll leave it in a time card in the right corner above. But Today's video is about this desktop. Now this is native. I don't mean native as in the Botticera devs put it in here. I just mean native is not a container, nothing like that. This is all running natively in Botticera. So go ahead and install that second option for desktop. And you're gonna get this fancy screen. It's gonna run through and do a bunch of stuff. This may take a few minutes, so you just let it finish and I'll be back when it's done. Hey, I wanted to jump in here and say shout out to DRL. He is a legend for making this happen. I don't know what he did or how he did it. This is nuts. Uh, you're going to see here in just a second. I'll go ahead and fast forward it. Once that's done, we can go ahead and exit out of the BUA. And now we have to restart our machines. So I'm going to restart my machine and I'll be right back. Once you've rebooted your machine, then you can go ahead and press F1 one more time. I know you're probably like, damn, where's the, where's the, the desktop at Kev? You hit F1 and you might not know it yet, but it's here. When you click F1, it'll still open up your file manager like normal it'll always be press f1 to go to the file manager all right all right i'm sorry i've been stalling you can go up here and you can either make it smaller oh Ooh. this is just a default wallpaper but check it out and look we still got the file manager here it's still the file manager this is completely integrated into botticera look like here you click the ES button, it takes you back to your home screen. Oh my gosh, it takes you back to your freaking home screen. And then look, you hit F1. Boom, you're right back into your, you're right back. You're right back. It's amazing. It's amazing. You can close this. It doesn't matter. You can exit out of that. Boom. Oh man, it's so nice. It's so nice. There's so much stuff going on that I don't even know where to start. Now, I don't have much experience with this desktop, so this video isn't 
showing off all the little features and everything that it can do, but it is just showing off. I mean, look how cool this is. It's it's directly connected. It's directly connected. It's amazing. You just one click, boom, and now you're in your desktop. I mean, there's just all types of options here. The cool thing is he's got some other stuff that I'll be showing in another video where I do some tips and tricks for this desktop because th this isn't like the other one where, you know, you can kind of Google, hey, how do I do this <laughs> in Alpine Linux or Ubuntu or with KDE? This is, this is something completely different. But anyways, yeah, it's like, look at all the options here. You got a, a menu with all types of stuff. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is awesome. When he first sent a picture into the Discord showing it off, I was like, I need this and I need this now. <laughs> and he basically hit me with patience, little one. Uh, so shout out to DRL. Uh, he is a legend and we wouldn't have this without him. Like I said, I have no clue what all he has done. All I know is that it must have taken a long time to pull off. Or maybe not. Maybe he's a freaking genius and it only took him a day. One last time I'll say, this isn't a video of all of the little features, but it is just showing it off, showing you, hey, you can do this. And just like my video showing off, you know, PZIP and Mozilla, well, now you can do it right from your desk, your Botticera desktop, and it's boom, boom, boom. It's really nice. And there's so many other little tweaks that he has put in here that that's it's so smooth it's such a smooth transition but there's so many little tweaks and stuff that he's put in here that i'm not going to get into today's video you're just going to have to watch in the next video so i appreciate you for watching the video this video was just giving you a quick overview of how to install the new and native bodicera desktop that is a just phenomenal. I just, I can't believe it. It just, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Anyways, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you like what you saw, give me a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe. Come on. I'll catch you in the next video. Once you type that command in, you can go ahead and press enter. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. You see, I messed up on my what the actual first step should be. Always check and make sure that you're connected to the Internet. Wow.